Now at 1030, why some Bay Area movie theaters will be staying closed even when they're allowed to reopen. And some good news for Santa Clara County as the area recovers from the pandemic. Plus, the Bay Area gets almost a month's head start on voting. The election centers opening this week. And right now on KPIX 5, streaming on CBSN Bay Area, movie theaters in San Francisco were getting ready to raise their curtains on Wednesday, but one chain will continue to sit in the dark. Hello tonight, I'm Ken Bastida. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. And as KPIX 5's Andrea Nakano reports, Regal Cinemas is the latest coronavirus casualty. Cineworld, the parent company of Regal Theater, says all their locations will close their doors starting this Thursday. That means here in San Francisco, Regal never had a chance to reopen in this pandemic, and many moviegoers are left wondering how this drama will end. The latest James Bond film may have delivered the final blow. Cineworld's announcing today to suspend all of its operations at 536 locations in the U.S. This is a release of No Time to Die was moved from Thanksgiving to next Easter as many theaters remain closed due to the pandemic. Mookie Gretinger, the CEO of Cineworld, said in a statement, the prolonged closures have had a detrimental impact on the release slate for the rest of the year. As such, it is simply impossible to continue operations in our primary markets. Many moviegoers are not surprised the second largest theater chain in the U.S. has made this decision. We're probably not going to be going to the movies too much until there's a vaccine. We just, it's just safer to watch movies at home anyway. Regal Theater also points to the inability to open in major markets such as New York. San Francisco will allow theaters to open Wednesday, but this 12 screen, 1800 capacity Regal Theater at Stonestown remains under construction. While moviegoers say they have adjusted to watching films at home, they miss a night out at the movies. I love the theater. I think there's part of that theater experience that's lost at home. Sitting in the dark and experience something with other people, I think that's part of the movie going experience for myself. I've always enjoyed going to the movies in person since I was a kid, so I, I, I'll, I'll always enjoy that experience. Regal emphasizes this is just a temporary closure and it will continue to monitor the situation on the reopening status and when studios will release blockbusters back to the big screen. In San Francisco, Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5. And the closures expand to Cineworld's theaters in the U.K. as well, and all nearly 45,000 employees will be impacted.